Congratulations. What for? Your Facebook status update. Leonard Hofstetter is in a relationship. What? No, no, that's not right. Oh, man, did you switch your status before she did? Seriously? You went first after only two weeks? That's bold. Bold. Not afraid to do things which involve risk or danger. Not shy, confident, free in behavior. Examples. This is so weird. I don't understand. It's a bold move to Photoshop yourself into a picture with your girlfriend and her kids on a ski trip with their real father. But then again, Michael's a bold guy. Is bold the right word? Your speech was fantastic. What's wrong with your speech? Uh, is it that obvious? I, I got adult braces. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? Because they don't seem like they fit right. Um, I think it's a bold step, and I support you in your journey of self-improvement. Excuse me for being so bold, but I now see where Sheldon gets his smoldering good looks. Um, honey, that ain't gonna work, but you keep trying. <laughs> Oh, I see. It was the apple falling on Newton's head. Was that just an anecdote? You are not Isaac Newton. No, no, that's true. Gravity would have been apparent to me without the apple. Uh, you cannot possibly be that arrogant. You continue to underestimate me, my good man. Arrogant. Unpleasantly proud and behaving as if he or she is more important or smarter than other people. Examples. Wasn't there a time when the brightest minds in the world believed that the Earth was flat? Are you telling me that you are so unbelievably arrogant that you can't admit that there's a teeny tiny possibility that you could be wrong about this? Oh, you're so arrogant. If you're a superhero, your name would be Captain Arrogant. And you know what your superpower would be? Arrogance. <laughs> You're wrong again. If my superpower were arrogance, my name would be Dr. Arroganto. <laughs> um, hey. Hey yourself. Move. You kind of just bumped me with your car. I don't think so. No, no, you did because, um, see, yeah, I got grease on my pants, and then also I felt it. Call an ambulance. OK. I just thought you might want to know in case you wanted to be a decent human being and apologize, but. Decent. Conforming with generally accepted standards of moral behavior. Honest, and behave in a way that most people approve of. Examples. Sorry guys, we get this a lot. Can't let you in. What if I told you that I was the voice of Yoda? <laughs> I'm sorry, don't listen to him. We're, we're actually physicists. We're giving a lecture at Berkeley later today. We just we had some time to kill. Hey listen, you seem like decent guys. I can't let you in. But I got some hats and t-shirts I can give you. Thank you so much. But when I come back here, I feel like I have to prove something. Like, people are looking at me, saying, you broke up the family. What do you have to show for it? You did the right thing. We were stalled. I didn't have the guts to end it. That's because you're a decent man. And that doesn't make it any easier. I don't want to try it. My god, you are grown men. How could you waste your lives with these stupid toys and costumes and comic books and, and now that, that. Again, time machines. <laughs> pathetic. All of you, completely pathetic. Pathetic. Who is weak, useless, or unsuccessful, and they make you feel very sorry for them, or they annoy you. Examples. And you be on your way, okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Rachel, how did this happen? I don't know, I just kind of ran into him last night. And the fact that you dumped him because he hit on Phoebe? Oh God, I know I'm pathetic, I'm a loser. <laughs> Honey, you're not pathetic, you're uh, just, you're sad. 42 to 21, like the turkey Ross has done. <laughs> See, it's no surprise that you're winning because you got to pick first, so you got the better team. You're so pathetic. Why can't you just accept it? We're winning because I'm better than you. <laughs> Oh, what a great argument. Exhaling. <laughs> hey, love bug. You know what I've been doing for the last hour? Mm, dreamily doodling Mrs. Leonard Hofstetter in a notebook? <laughs> Listening to my father go on and on about what a great guy you are. You gotta admit, I'm, I'm delightful. <laughs> delightful. Very pleasant, attractive, or extremely funny person and that fact bringing satisfaction or happiness to you. 
Examples. I was totally blindsided. I guess somewhere along the way, she stopped finding me delightful. Well, that's, that's coconuts. You're super delightful. Not to Judy. She used to laugh at everything I had to say, but now I can't even remember what her laugh sounds like. The new study came out and it said that laughing makes your brain work better. And I know that's true because laughing has made me the smartiest. <laughs> Although on the other hand, babies laugh a lot and they're dumb. Do, do people know the about her? Laughing, She's delightful. Your <laughs> You're actually a lot taller than Seacrest. You've, you've actually got a sharper jaw, too. You're actually more handsome than the guy that's famous for being handsome. <clears throat> Jeff? You'll be okay. Just stay humble. Humble. Not proud, not arrogant, or not believing that he or she's special or very important. Examples. When I was six years old, I tried to start a boy band called Frankie Goes to Bollywood. <laughs> But I couldn't get any other boys to join, so my parents asked the servants to be my backup dancers. Uh, wait, when you sign servants, don't sign it like I'm bragging. Sign it in a way that I sound humble, with just a hint of, that's right, I had servants. I know these guys didn't turn out to be exactly how we thought they would be. You said they might not know what toilet paper is. I'm calling an audible. We can't be humble anymore. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take them to our best park, and we're gonna blow their socks off. <laughs> In law school, Wendy Kirk could be a little intense. Now, I always hoped that she'd soften over time, but some people go the other way. Intense, overly serious, and showing their emotions in a very extreme way. Examples. They just, you know, they think you're a little. What? Intense and creepy. Well, I'm not, I'm not at all surprised they feel that way. You're not, see, that's why you're so great. Actually, it's, it's quite, you know, typical behavior when you have this kind of dysfunctional group sitting in your stupid coffee house with your stupid big cups, which I'm sorry, might as well have nipples on them. Come on, she's not that bad. Oh, yeah? At the company picnic, she yelled at me and my grandson for losing the three-legged race. I know she can be a little intense, but I swear she is so sweet. Once you get past hey, all the... What are you talking about? Oh, we are just talking about how much we love working with you. Isn't that right, Dan? <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. What, uh, what's Mark doing answering your phone? Oh, he's just goofing around. Oh, yeah, that's, that's funny. <laughs> why, uh, why isn't he goofing around in his own office? Honey, this is his office, too. I told you, we're Joanna's two assistants. Why does Joanna need two assistants? Uh, how, how lazy is she? Lazy. Who doesn't want to work? or make any effort to do anything. Examples. All right, we have got to get you lazy boys out of these chairs. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, oh. You know, you should go outside and be with the three-dimensional people. No, inside, good. Outside, bad. You guys are so pathetic. Hi, Joe, before you leave, could you help me test these noise-canceling headphones? Yeah, sure. Your George Lucas autograph is really a me autograph. Yeah, well, once I was too lazy to walk across the hall, so I used your toothbrush. <laughs> Ooh, and one time when you were asleep, Amy totally took off her, and that's why you're the best roommate ever. So, have you worked out the neutrino issue? Well, to paraphrase Mozart, all the subatomic particles are there. I just have to put them in the right order. You're so witty. You, aren't I? <laughs> witty. Using words in a clever and funny way, in speech or writing. Amusing in a clever way. Examples. It's hard to like someone when you don't like yourself. You're right. You have so many good qualities. You're attractive, you're witty, you're bright. I just wish you could see yourself through my eyes. Aw, you're such a good friend. Friend? That's where this is headed? Well, friendships last longer. Not this one. I've got enough friends. Happy New Year, Joyce. Howard Joel Wallowitz. H is for honesty, of which he has much. 
O's for outstanding, which he is such. W's for witty, he's quick with a joke. A's for artistic, his ability. I'm sorry, Dr. Cooper, this matter is already closed. But I still have Erd Joel Wallowitz left to go. There is another woman? Adriana, yes. And, um, you know, very drawn to her. I find her, you know, extremely alluring. You know, the, you know, the problem is that other men, you know, great artists, geniuses, are also find her alluring. And... Alluring. Powerfully and mysteriously attractive or seductive. Examples. We have to find a new voice for the virtual closet assistant. We're thinking female. Yeah, I was wondering about that myself. Hold on a second. Claire has a great voice. Commanding but alluring. Oh, come on. I don't know about alluring. You're right. You're right, I could totally hear it. Guys, guys, you're embarrassing me. I'm just curious about what kind of person she is, uh, what it is about her that you find, I don't know, alluring. What? Your dad wants to know if you think she's hot. Oh, it's personal. She's hot. You have so many good qualities. You're attractive. You're witty, you're bright. It's a bold move. But then again, Michael's a bold guy. You gotta admit, I'm, I'm delightful. Hey, listen, you seem like decent guys. Come on, I don't know about alluring. <laughs>